Here you can see this thing. I don't know what the heck it is, but it's pretty darn big. David and Jason are saying it's a grouper, but you, I'm trying to get something in scale to show you the size of this thing. It's about, it's bigger than, me. It's bigger than Jason looking thing swimming next to the boat. I mean, we first thought, is it a shark? Is it a whale? What the heck is this thing? So it's pretty darn amazing. And earlier this morning, we had a bird, an egret sitting on the front at the bow of the boat. Also today, we're moving to um, another anchorage for a little bit, just to snorkel. We have the whole marina area here, well, anchorage, to ourselves. Um, after the storm, everybody left and all the fishermen went fishing. So here's this giant thing, whatever it may be, swimming under the boat. I think we should send Jason down with a pair of goggles. He isn't so keen. He thinks it'll eat him, but there it's disappearing over the horizon. So this is up the dinghy. We just pulled it up from there because Dad doesn't trust the docks because apparently they have metal spikes jutting out. And for the past few days, we've been on that boat, wandering around this place, looking for things that we want to show you on this day. So this is the lunch you can get on the um, ferry boat at $7 a person. It's kind of just sandwich making stuff. You can also get cookies and a bag of potato chips too. So... That's, and it's all you can eat, so you can go back as many times as you want. So it's advisable if you're a sailor to come and have lunch here. It's a good meal. This is Mr. Krabby. He's one of the first hermit crabs we found today. So there are actually a lot of them under this tree. You can hear the rustling. We just threw out some ham for them so they could... Uh, well, eat ham and then come out and show you guys. Yesterday we found them and we yeah, uh, and uh, we just saw one crawling in between our feet over at this table. So, tossed out the pieces and they came out. Is that a hermit crab? Yeah, the leaves all going crazy. Uh huh, okay. Sometimes the ground calling with me. At 11 o'clock every day. To see this. So if we let it focus for a second. Well, you could see it. He was, he had the, the two little mouth parts chewing on it. Which might have been cool because we had a thing on invertebrates and we saw all that. Oh, there's a tiny one coming towards me. Oh, is that the baby? Yeah, that's the baby one. So this one's, that one's probably the youngest one that we've seen so far. Saw him yesterday. I'm just trying to get that crowded in the far distance I have, I'm getting it. But there, are, there are a lot more. There are now five or six in that little area now. Can see some more in this area of the background. So they're just tons of these things. It's like he takes you for a walk every day. <laughs> there are about 20 of them right here. Yeah. Oh, thank God the fort and I keep on wanting to call it a castle because it is pretty darn amazing and definitely has the feel of something akin to a castle and um, here you can see where the cannons were mounted down here to aim through these little I don't know what you would call them little holes and amazingly enough there's a moat around this whole fort and the sea is just the other side of that little bit of land. And the moat and the ocean. Used as a cathedral or a church, place of worship, 
You can see that would have been where they probably had the crucifix. Apparently the brickwork in here is superior to the rest of the building. You can see the ferry boat with our boat anchored right up there behind it. And this lighthouse is being fixed up. The plan was to leave the dry tortugas tomorrow, but we heard that the wind was going to be favorable tonight and um, early tomorrow morning. So we heading a little bit earlier than expected. You can see the fort and the lighthouse, well maybe you can't see the lighthouse, there you go, the lighthouse that is visible when we arrive. So we're on our way to Key West, we had an absolutely fantastic time and hope that one day we'll get to see it again. Sailing for about an hour and a half on our way to Key West from Dry Tortugas. It is Sunday the 21st. Um, you can see the sun is going down and um, David's been having a little bit of problems with the wind vane so you can see it's not in action and instead we've got the auto helm working here. So we'll see how we'll see how that holds up. David says that they're about $1,000 a piece and um, if you're going on a long cruise it's recommended that you have about five of them because they break down. So um, David reckons that the reason that the wind vane isn't working is because there isn't enough wind. I hope he's right because I really like that thing. <laughs> 